turn over and to see which way should be the head of the ladybug so right now you will see that uh, these two sides you will see these two sides has two pieces out so uh, sometimes you will see uh, if the the uh, the p uh, the the body face up like this so means uh, we should put the head on this side or sometimes it's up this way so we'll put the head on this side right now it's in the middle so it's either way it's okay now I will try to put ladybug's head over here so from this bottom you have to put the uh, this uh, string back into the uh, bead to go to the uh, part that you want uh, the head on so I put this um, uh, clear in into one of the crystal pier and to the one of the sun for the other line the marker in I put in the opposite way one of the crystal and go to the sun color and also go to another one of the sun color okay right now it's in this uh, same sun color Now we come to the point that uh, we will start to make a uh, head of the ladybug and uh, we will turn this way to have the bow string on the left side of you. Now on a clear end I will put two of the three millimeter not two three one more three millimeter and after that I will crisscross with the marker in now put the clear end in the black here okay. on the marker end put two of the three millimeter and crisscross the clear end and pull and now we put marker in into sun color next to it now the clear end you put another two of the three millimeter and quick cross with the last one in the last one with the marker end Now, for the clear end, you will put in the black here. and marker in, put another two. And 
crisscross with the clear end in the last one. Now this is the last section. So you put marker in into next two beads. One in sand color. And the other one in that black three millimeter. And after that you put one of the three millimeter in a clear end and crisscross to end this section crisscross with the marker end and pull it. so we build the head up but not finished yet so I we will put the clear end in the three millimeter next to it and after that the marker and you put two of the three millimeter and crisscross now the marker and you will put in three millimeter next to it two times one more time in three millimeter so you put in uh, two of the three millimeter next to it and after that you put last one in a clear end and crisscross with the marker end and pull. So this is the finish of the head. Now we have to uh, tie the knot but I always uh, bring this line down to the bottom and tie at the bottom of the of the ladybug. So right now I try to close all the opening because some of them still not connect. So I will uh, bring this line through all the beads to close all the uh, opening and put down. The other side the same way I try to go like uh, make it like uh, close the all open that I can see from and right now I need to use this pin to take some of the line out of the place that I don't want the light to go in there so I put in this bit and go to meet the other line after, get, uh, after you get the line out you just tie the knot left over right and right over left Before you cut, you have to put the line back in there and try to use the zigzag motion to hide the knot and to hide the string. I will do about two, three times until I feel like it's tight and I will cut
the same way put the line back into the beat and try to hide all the knots and, and all the lines now this is the finish of the lady box and when we put together so right now I have two uh, orange and two red and one of the pink now if you want to put the strap this kind on you need the jump ring and I will put this jump ring into some of the beads and I will use the this prior to help open which I use two of the prior and the way to open is to twist like this and right here into the triangle tip. twist back so it's on here and then put this strap on like this so this is the finish of the uh, cell phone strap ladybug cell phone strap thank you for watching and enjoy